the biblical truth of our hymns. Angels we have heard on high. I already say puke. <laughs> Just by that alone, you know what we're going to do with them. Anglo Irish Roman Catholic priests. Glory the angel. You hear that? And excess is the. Have you heard that song in your church? Do you allow a Roman Catholic in your church to get up in a pulpit? I haven't even started. Everyone open up your your hymnals. Angels we have heard on high and glory and exectria, whatever. Uh, tongues. That's Latin for glory to God in the highest. I don't speak at Latin. You know what Latin is, is, is the language of? It's the language of the Catholic Church. Why do I even have to say that this, this hymn is sung in Baptist churches? I'd just like to start this picture right now. But let's go on with the lesson. Anglo Irish Roman Catholic priest and second bishop of Hexham and Newcastle. Chadwick's lyrics are considered under copyright laws as entirely his, even though they are recognized as derivative work, loosely translated in sections from the original French song. Wee oui, wee. Oui. The article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Heber Man Charles, I guess, edition, 1913. James Chadwick, Catholic Encyclopedia in New York, Robert Appleton. Again, in Glory and in Excesses, D O, D A O, however you say it, it's Latin. I don't speak Latin. Why do we say we don't go to the original Hebrew, we don't go to the original Greek, we got the King James Bible, and yet we pick a hymn, a carol, in the church where we go to the Latin? Come on, what's going on, folks? Wake up! The church is asleep. This following carol is 1984, The Carpenters, on the album, An Old Fashioned Christmas. 2005, Mercy Me. On the album, The Christmas Session. 2009, REO Speedwagon. On the album, Not So Silent Night, Christmas with REO Speedwagon. So, here we go. Angels we have heard on high. We have heard them? If this is about the first advent the birth of Jesus Christ man you must be old we have heard on high sweetly singing o'er the plains <laughs> I'm very frustrated at this one. singing oh I got Luke chapter 2 I know we got it open Luke chapter 2 and we'll just put, no, 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 let's go verse 8. You already know what I'm going to say about this one as far as the comments at the end. Luke 2 8 had it open. There were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field. What did they say? In the plains. King James says field. Their garbage says plain. Keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings and great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, capital S, which is Christ the Lord. And he shall be a sign unto you. They require a sign, Jews. Ye shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising and saying, S-A-Y-N-G, not singing. Can we get the Bible right, 
people. I'm sorry. You know, may I seem a little frustrated. It's just I'm tired of these carols of misquote in the Bible, and then they are sung in <coughs> Baptist churches that will say, oh, we can't go to the original Hebrew, can't go to the original Greek, and yet we got this garbage that changes the Bible. Now, why does it say plains? Why does it say fields? And the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Strains rhymes with plains, and plains rhymes with strain. So we, most of the cases when we see that a hymn has been perverted, it's for the very fact is I can't find a word that rhymes with field. Big deal. For the sake of poetry and rhyming, we have to change the word of God so we can have a hymn made of sod. That's what it comes down to. And the mountains in reply echoing their joyous strains. In Luke 2.13, the RSVCE, Modern Bible, there Suddenly there was with an angel and a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying. In the Catholic modern Bible, even there Luke 2.13 says, saying. They don't even follow the quotations of their own Bible that it's changed. I wonder if you ask this guy if he was a Bible reader, a studier. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be shamed, rightly to find the word of truth. This guy is ashamed. He ought to be ashamed. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Because the angel came to him and said that the Savior has been born. And you can go see him. I have never met Jesus at all. He may have been an infant, but at least the shepherds, the shepherds could say, I saw Jesus. Jesus, in a roundabout way, not to quote the verse completely, but he tells Thomas, he says, listen, blessed you, you have seen me. But blessed are they that have not seen me and believe. Why your joyous strains prolong? What the gladsome tidings be, which inspire your heavenly song. It's not a song. Your Bible, the Catholic Bible says saying. The King James Bible says saying. If it's not the truth, it's a lie. You know where the lies come from? John 8, 44. I'm going to go there and read that to you. You know, we got a thing today that in the pulpits, people are lying so we can get fun. We can get laughter. We can kill time. A lie is a lie no matter what. It needs to be repented of. Ye are of your father the devil. Ooh, I don't want to be that. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. And when you say that angels are singing and the Bible says they are saying and even the modern Bible says saying that is a L-I-E L-I-A-R. Why are we promoting lies in the church today? I'll tell you why. Revelation chapter 3. I'm glad you asked that question. Go to Revelation 3. I'll tell you exactly why. Revelation 3. Verse number 20. Behold, I stand at the door, the church door, the Lazarus church door, and lock. If any man 
Hear my voice and open a door. I will come in. I will come in. He's not in. He's standing at the church door, outside the door, knocking. Well, he's not inside the church, knocking. Who is inside? Satan. And what are a lot of these mess of messages that are coming out that are wrong, that are modern Bibles, these carols, these hymns that are being sung that are wrong in the modern church today, they're lies. God just loves everybody and hates to sin. That's a lie. And then when you get up there jesting and joking and fooling around and telling something that's not the truth and everybody, hey, 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 that's a lie. Lies are surrounded in today's church. You get the children up and they get up there to do a performance and say, Hi, my name is Joseph. No, you're not. You're a liar. I'm Moses. You're a liar. Come on, people. We need preachers to stand up and say a lie is a lie and sin is sin. Come to Bethlehem and see. I was in a good mood. Come to Bethlehem. I am in a good mood. Come to Bethlehem and see. Him whose birth the angels did not sing. And suddenly there was with an angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, saying, saying. So when you sing this carol in your church, and whose birth the angels sing, you're lying. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. How about you do what I do in the church when, th when this hymn comes up? We're going to sing angels we have heard on high. I'll tell my family. No. Nope. There are hymns that I tell my family. Nope. Don't sing it. It's biblically incorrect. I'd rather not sing a hymn. And then sing a hymn and put myself the lies, put myself under the anger of God, the wrath of God, because I'm sinning. So it's a cute little hymn. Good intention. Hymn whose birth the angels sing. Come adore on bended knee. Eh, that's assumption, but Christ the Lord, the newborn king. This is a Catholic. He's a king only of Israel. He's not a king over the Gentiles of the church. He will sit king on David's throne in the millennium, but not king today. And you say, well, why are you pointing that out? Because this is a Catholic hymn, Carol. The Catholics would love to have this monstrous, warrior type Christ called the Pope Holy Father so they can dominate and victorize the entire world in the sake of pulpitry. And anybody would go against them that they would have crusaders and they would have inquisitions and they would have torture if you didn't partake in their mess or mass. In an office of a church where they got a, a ruler, a physical ruler that sits on a throne with his own government, his own postage, his own bodyguard. What kind of what kind of man of God needs bodyguards? Christ is the King of the Jews, proclaimed also by Pilate. The subscription. Uh, the, 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 oh boy. Subscription on the on the cross. King of the Jews. See him in a manger lay. That's what the angel said. Whom the choirs of angels praise. Mary, Joseph, lend your aid. While our hearts in love we raise. Thank Gloria. In it 
excessive language that I don't speak. Now, it says French Carol traditionally by James Chadwick, and it has been. What would you say? Translated from French to English except the chorus. Why can we not sing in English glory to God in highest? Why do we got to do it in the Latin? Because it's a Catholic carol. An Anglo-Irish Roman Catholic priest and second bishop of Hexham and Newcastle. So we got to keep the Catholic flavor. It's a mess. It's a mess. It tells us things that the Bible don't tell us. It lies. It changes the word plains from field so we can have strains. It keeps telling us the angels sing, but the angels, shall we read it again? I want to make sure you get this right. And so there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Now shall we go back to Luke 2, 13, and the R-S-V-C-E? All right, here we go, ready? Now follow along with the King James Bible. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Mountains reply. I hope it was echoed. What? Nonsense. Nonsense. The RSV Luke 2.13. Nonsense. But their Bible says the angels were saying. The carol says they were singing. Are you going to keep the Bible or are you going to keep the hymn book? You do know who the first. Well, how should I say it? You do know who the first song leader is in the Bible. You do know that he was a one-man band with pipes. Ezekiel 28. There is a song out there. Old song. By Barry Manuel. I write the songs. You ever listen to the lyrics of I write the song? And when you listen to those lyrics, have you ever just put yourself thinking about Satan? Satan was God's first song leader until he fell by pride if he messes with Bibles don't you think he would mess with the hymnal now the hymnal is not inspired as the Bible and majority of your song leaders will tell you well we don't do that hymn or carol because it's wrong there's nothing wrong in the Bible to King James Modern Bible, plenty wrong. King James, nothing wrong, inspired the word of God from the mouth of the Holy Spirit. Every letter, every period, every comma. Not your hymnal. Now, may I, I come off and I apologize, sound mean and crude, but I'm just... I'm tired of these hymns that do the Bible wrong and that are sung in churches. I'd rather not sing and not lie and pervert the Bible with my lips than to sing and then be charged by God, you know. Just because the song leader in the church said sing it didn't mean you had to. This is one angels we ever I would not sing it. If it came up in the church, I'd close the hymnal. That's what that's I do that. 
I'm not Latin. I'm not Catholic. I came out of the Catholic Church. Thank God in 1987, I came out of the Catholic Church. And now the Baptist Church is putting the Catholic right back in the pew. I'm supposed to go back to Bethel, not back to Satan. Go ahead. Give these messages to your song leader. Say, hey, you got to hear what this guy said. And most of them, my jury are going to be, I'm a fruitcake, I'm stupid, I'm radical, I need my brains blown away, I need to be put into an institute, he doesn't know what he's talking about, he's one of them people who are very to the extreme, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm a street preacher too, I've heard it all. But did I not open the King James Bible? Did I not even quote their Bible, the RSVCE? You can't understand S-I-N-G from S-A-Y-I-N-G. You have no business in front of the people in the church to say, let's sing 248 or 570. You have no business. You need to go back through elementary school, English classes and spelling. S-A-Y-I-N-G is not S-I-N-G. I-N-G. You got a problem with spelling. You got a problem with words, simple words. Man, I don't know how early in school I learned the words say and sing. The angels don't sing anymore right now because their song leader is gone. And there's a third of the angels right now in glory that are Satan's angels. And when I write the song, you better believe I write the song. And they're in the hymnals. With Jesus standing outside the door. Well, guess who's inside? Plain and simple.